I think, obviously, having retired a few, three years, I think it was, and we're doing the audios with Jason, I was getting into the vogue of uh, looking back, you know, reflecting on my career uh, through the audios. And uh, that's something that I never did as a manager. I never looked back. I always looked forward. That next day was more important to me. Um, and uh, so Jason thought it was a good idea to go ahead. And it was great. And then the next thing, they asked Jason to be the director, which made me more comfortable because I know, who, you know, I can trust my son. And, uh, and he's capable, he's a very capable guy. Oh, the, 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 the hospital thing, that was a part of your life at, I'm glad I'm standing here, you know. The, the, the NHS were fantastic. I mean, one day I'm walking about in Winslow, and then the next day I'm in hospital, and I don't remember a thing. Uh, and the recovery, obviously, was fraught at times with times where you're starting to wonder, you get lonely, way, and you wonder, are they telling you the truth? And things like that, but, uh, well, here I am. And they, they were fantastic, the NHS were absolutely brilliant. Uh, I, think, I think here that the, the, the best way to manage Manchester United is regard every game as a cup final, because the other team do. I think again, he, he, you know, he decided to be open. He decided to be honest, and he was. I think it was possibly difficult for him at times. Um, I think the difficult thing is when you, you, the doctors were being interviewed, and you're getting information that you weren't aware of at the time. In terms of, I knew it was serious, but I didn't quite know until those interviews were done exactly how serious it was. I mean, she's been his rock, you know. She's allowed him to. Um, indulge in, in his obsession you know um, she more or less brought me and my brothers up on her own and made sacrifices in order to allow him to, to do what he did you know but every we all massively appreciate it but I don't, I don't think she could have done it without him which is why she's such a central part of his story um, there were things personal things um, professionally the the one thing was was more uh, his time at Rangers and the impact it had on him. I was aware of it, knew about it, but didn't really realise quite how deep it had impacted upon him. So that would be the one thing. <laughs> oh, you know, he's, uh, he's a role model. Uh, I've played and coached uh, under him for 15 years and now he's still uh, helping me whenever I need. And it's just, um, his career will never be uh, matched by anyone. But um, if you can get anywhere near, uh, that's fantastic. Still next week? That's something that he never did. I'm, I can guarantee that he never looked back on uh, and thought about uh, how well he's done and could uh, rest on his laurels. Because, uh, yeah, I remember the 99 final, of course. Who's the first one to leave the party? That's him. He's thinking about next season, how we're going to get better. So that was, uh, that was him all along. Very. I think he's special for all of, all of his ex-players. I think he's... Uh, got a place in all our hearts because um, he gave his life for Man United and us and he gave us so much of course we gave ours to him as well and that, that's maybe the one of the best compliments I can give him is that we felt we played for him um, in 99 when we won that final I've got a picture back home I've said it a few times here in interviews I remember exactly what I was thinking and I was just looking him in the eye and thinking you deserve this and because it was the holy grail for him so um, Nah, well, I'm looking forward to seeing the film. <laughs>